Kyle. How could you do this to me? Hush, Celine. You'll know soon enough. V what? We are the most important hamsters in your life. But you won't be there when we are. Va? What are you saying? You will leave us one day and never come back. That's impossible. I will never leave a hamster behind. You have a heart of gold, but one of the closest things in your lifespan right now will turn their back towards you and... S stop Who is this? What is this? Wait! You never told me! <sighs> Thank goodness, he didn't wake up. He, he, he's kind of cute when he's sleeping. Tch. What am I saying? There isn't any way I'm going to go back to sleep. I better step outside. I miss you, Jennifer. I miss you every day. I wish you were here by my side. That stupid moss mail can never replace you. But at least he's kind of nice. Hopefully. He doesn't murder me in my sleep. But who knows. I didn't plan on doing that anytime soon, Celine. Hey! Were you listening to me? Yeah, I heard you yelling in the tree cave. I also heard what you said about me sleeping. Th th uh, uh, never, um, I never said that. It, it's fine, Celine. My sister's mate said that when I was awake, and well, let me tell you, that was awkward as heck. I bet it was. So, you were talking to a flower? Ugh, no, you dumb rat. I was talking to Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer? Tch, never mind. Besides, it's none of your business in the first place. Go make yourself useful and go get me some worms. Celine, it's the middle of the night. Then, get out of my face! <sighs> Alright. I wish that he didn't kill you. Not my own. Well, you already know who killed you. Good night, Jennifer. Good night, Celine. Where did that mail go? <laughs> it 
it's so cold. I can't be out here for too long, but where did he go? What the? What in the heck is he doing? Hey. <laughs> That's the most funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Span! <laughs> you were watching me? I was looking for you, Moss. It looks like you were watching me. Watching you fail. I would do a way better job at hunting than you. Hey, I can whip your fatty butt at hunting. Oh, really? Bring it on, female. It's been brung. Okay, Celine. You haven't hunted for a while. But how bad could it be? I could beat the mirror into a fur bar with one paw. Besides, Moss doesn't seem to know how, it, how to hunt. Ah! Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Moss! I haven't hunted in a while! Yeah, right. Stop it! <laughs> ah! Ah! <sighs> See? <sighs> I just gave up. That's that's all. I never noticed you had a scar on your face. You haven't even noticed my scar. S sorry, looks aren't important to me. Well, yesterday you stared in my stomach. I I told you, I didn't mean to look there. <laughs> Fat chance. I'm serious. Whatever. Anyway, what happened? Why do you care? It makes me worry about you. I want to know what happened. You don't want to hear it. It's... That is sad. I, I don't mind if it helps you lose the attitude. My attitude! Uh, never mind, just... If you don't want to talk about it, then don't talk about it. It happened back to my gang. When I stood up to the leader, Park. I killed him. He wouldn't listen to my rules. If any hamster breaks my rules, then they die. <gasps> you, you're just upset over Arin. Upset? I lost my mate a season ago, and you think I'm upset? N no. Um, I just thought. Well, you thought wrong. That's what happens when you question me! I hate this place! What do you mean he didn't do anything? He broke the rules! If any hamster breaks the rules, they die! Later, calm down. We, we understand, but there's no reason to kill him! Shut up. I am the leader of this gang, not you. You do not tell me what to do, unless you want to face death. But, but, Park! Say that again! Lewis! How could you, Park? How could you do this to one of the gang mates? Are you crazy or something? All he did was just telling you what you could do! I have to get out of here. This is the only thing I'm bringing. And I don't care what those dumb hands say! I can't believe we have the night patrol. It's fine. Besides, we can go see those females over by the east side. Uh, you always have females on your mind. Yeah, because females dig me. Uh-huh, sure. The females love me the best. Shouldn't you be back in camp with Park? I'm not going back! Well, then I'll tell Park. At least Glenn respects me. Stupid males. They can't catch me. I'll risk my lifespan to get out of here. <gasps> Selena? Shush! Are you playing a game with Caesar? No, I'm not a little pup. Okay, then, what are you doing? Why are you wearing that? If Park catches you wearing that thing. First of all, I don't care what that male thinks or says about me. 
and this isn't just a thing. It's called a collar. Well, whatever. I, I don't believe in human words. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. I need to leave. I understand that it was wrong for Park to kill your mate. But what now? You're just gonna leave like that? If Park finds- Park won't find out. Trust me. Unless some hands the tails on me. I, I won't. But are you sure it's the right thing to do? It has to be. He gave me this scar for a reason. That rat-faced idiot. If we get out on the camp's borderlands, then maybe we'd be out of sight and no hamster would suspect us. Wait, we? Yeah, don't you want to leave too? Well, yeah, no, I don't want to leave. Come on, this is our, our chance to have a good lifespan without a violent leader telling us what to do. But I'm scared. What happens if something happens to me? Then, then, oh. I promise you, I'll protect you no matter what. I won't leave you by yourself. Really? I promise. Thanks, Selene. Now come on, follow me. Uh, I wanna eat. Jeez, all you think about is food. You go first. Try to be careful. Ah, <sighs> Jennifer! <gasps> ah! Richie, help! What the? Those stupid females! Richie, you climb up and get them! I'll go get Park! I'm coming! What are you guys doing here anyways? Okay, I'll pull you up, you scratch my face, then what? you two run. I can't do that. I'll make sure they don't know where you two end up. Why do you want us to leave? It doesn't matter. Get them, Richie! Okay, you're mine, females. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, he won't be safe for long, Celine. I will have my revenge! Uh, I'm so sorry, Park. I tried to stop them, but uh, they, they were fast, and I... I have an idea, Park. How about we follow them and make sure they get killed? What? That might just work. Good job, Glenn. I think sometime when the time is right, you might be the one that's leading this game. That would be an honor, Park. And you, Richie, try harder next time. Maybe you should be something other than a god. No, I could do it. Gee, I don't know. Well, you could have started by catching those females. Even Glenn could have caught them and killed them in an instant. But Glenn is older and more cooperative to hurting and killing hamsters. Well, you are... A bit more resistant to these things. That female clawed me in the eye. That's why I couldn't. Well, I knew she was your sister, but you cannot let your affairs cloud your duties, Richie. Glenn, put a patrol together. Kill the both of them. Yes, sir. I'll do that right away. Good. I can count on you, Glenn. I know what you did, Richie. I know you let those females go. But... You will do what I say from now on. Besides, I will make sure that I find those females and kill them, with or without your help. No matter what, some hamster's blood is going to be spilled, either the females or yours. Are, are we out of sight? I don't know! Ah! Celine, are you alright? <coughs> I'm fine. We better hide somewhere. But where? How about over there? That's fine. Let's hurry. Thank goodness that we're inside. Yes. I guess. You seem upset, Celine. What's wrong? I'm. I'm scared. I'm scared to be killed. I know that Park is going to send hamsters after us and kill the both of us. I just know it. What's the point of living if you're going to get killed the next day? What's the whole point of life if you'll die before anything exciting happens? 
You'll just die a meaningless death. Is that what you want? The whole point of life is to live it to the fullest. Who cares if nothing exciting happens? All you need to do is be happy that you lived a life. Some hamsters, they, they don't get to live very long. They may only take a breath and then they die before they even live a minute. At least you lived your life for a little bit. I'm... I'm gonna go get some herbs. I'll be right back. <gasps> well, well, well. What do we have here? A female who ran away from the gang. Looks like she needs to get a hint about running away. Oh, don't be so cold, dear. Every hamster has to face death at some point in their lives. By the way, where did your little friend run off to? Don't tell me that she ran away with her ears between her legs. Celine would never run away from a fight. How do you know that? Uh, I, I just know. Pfft, pathetic. I can't believe that you would think that. Females are really low, especially healers. At least I don't go around the camp flirting with every little female that's there. Well, at least I ain't on female. That wasn't my choice. The humans made me like this. S so what if I can't have any pups? I am living the life I love. Well, your life is about to end. Stop. Leave her alone. You have to get through me first. Ha 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 ha. Are you challenging me? Oh, male, you don't stand a chance against me. Y you don't scare me. Then why are you shaking? Shut up. I'll make sh sure you... Ah, uh, don't make threats that you cannot make. After all, your daddy doesn't even think that you're capable enough to be a god. Leave Perk out of this. Why, I bet Park will be happy with me when I kill your only sister. Park wouldn't let... Oh, you don't understand. Your daddy doesn't care about any hamster. He cares about himself and killing. That's all he cares about. He wouldn't care about killing any hamster. Stop! Oh, is the little pup gonna cry? <laughs> you can cry all you want. Your sister's blood will still be shed. Just leave her alone. She made that choice. Exactly. She made that choice. She didn't care about Park or anything like that. She only cares about herself. Sure, she would have left with Celine. But do you think that Celine would stick around with Jennifer? Of course she would. She's my friend. She wouldn't. I'm the only one who knows her personally. She's just like me. Lies! Run, Jennifer. Ah! I can have you now, you little... Park. I wish I could kill her. Why would you leave? Talk! Talk, little female. Shut up, you polymerian ignorant male. Oh, <laughs> you little... Wow. That's mean. Don't touch her, Gwen. She called me a polyamory. It's true, though. It's not. Calm down, Glenn. Jennifer won't be alive for long. Stop. 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 I won't let you hurt her. Don't talk, Richie. Don't you understand? Or are you too stupid to understand? Don't talk to your father that way. You're not my father. You'll never be my father. Well, I am. And she's going to die no matter what. Fine. But, but if you do this... You're going to lose a son, too. Huh? Yeah. You, you never cared about me. You never did. You only cared about yourself. Remember? Remember when I was younger? Hey, Park. I, I found something by the border. What is it? These guys, they were left by themselves. I... I think we should take them in. I don't think... Please? <sighs> Fine. They can stay. You can take care of them or another female can. I can take care of them. Okay. But it doesn't mean they're anywhere near my pups. Got it? Y yes Park. You'll be safe with me, little pups. Park will love you. I think I'll name you Richie. And you Jennifer. Jenny for short. 
after my sister. They're so cute. They have your eyes. And fur. <laughs> That's not true. Wow. Would you like to hold one? Yeah. Can I hold the tan one? Go ahead, Ruji. He's so small. Did you come up with any names yet? No, not yet. Would you like to name one? Uh, I don't think that. Park. Go ahead, Richie. Um, how about Julian? For some reason, I remember that name. That's a perfect name. I guess it's suitable. The brown one will be named Sawyer. Perfect. And my only daughter will be named. We are about to get ready for battle. And the skull is here to discuss the plan. Alright, I'll be out there shortly. Irene, stay here and... No, I'm coming with... I will not lose my mate and your... Stop it, Bark. I promise that I won't die. You promise? Yes. Be safe, alright? Wow, Bark. I didn't know that you... Of course I don't. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> you always have this soft side to you, Bark. Maybe later on... You could be f nice forever. You already know the reason I can't be soft. The reason was, look, we'll talk about this later. I'll see you. Before you leave, I want to give you a kiss. Irene, not here. I'll see you out there. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. Not Irene. Wake up. I feel. You didn't deserve this. You never cared. You never did. <laughs> but I, you die. <laughs> Plan killer. With pleasure. No. Say your last words. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, Celine, I'll, I'll never forget her. Ah! <coughs> there, now she's dead. Forever. Ha 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 ha. Glenn, enough. Oh, come on. I was teasing. Take a joke for God's sake. Don't push it, Glenn. Understand? <coughs> yes, Park. I, I perfectly understand. We'll give Celine two weeks to give her a warning. She can either come back to the gang and promise to never try to run away ever again, or she can die alongside her friend. That seems kind of long. I know. I don't have the time to do with her. It, besides, it's a warning to everyone in the gang who would leave. I guess that makes sense. It better. Now go back to camp. We'll... <laughs> we'll bury her body, I promise, Richie. <laughs> well, let's go back to camp and get you some herbs. Huh? What the... Jennifer? And that's why I won't trust any hamster. <sighs> no. I can't trust any hamster. I, I'm sorry, Celine. Huh? I'm sorry about your life. It, it must have been a pain. I'll never know what it's like. To live like that. But... I... I know. I know what it's like to lose a hamster you care about. It happened too many times. Sometimes, I wonder how it would feel not to have any hamster around. So, I assume, you were part of a gang as well. 
Yeah, I was. Well, I bet you were the worst hunter ever. Actually, I was a guard, not a hunter, and, well, it wasn't as bad as you were, sweetheart. H hey I, I was... That bug was really fast. Uh-huh, sure. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> we left our gangs, and now we're here. Yeah, and now it's peaceful. No fights, no arguments, no leaders, no anything. Just you and I, with no worries. What about your pops? My pops? Do you know when they're due? Maybe less than a week. Oh. What's with that O? Oh! Aren't you happy? Yeah, I am. But raising those pups alone sounds kind of sad. S so Why do you care? Besides, you're leaving today, aren't you? Right. I guess I am. I... Uh, I... I... Uh, don't mind if you stayed. What? Don't mind if you stayed. But, but you better not try anything funny, Belle, or I'll... You'll rip my fur off and make it into a nice warm bed for yourself. I know, Celine. G good Now go get some leaves for you. All right. Here, I got you some worms. You did? After I dug for a while, I found some worms. Under the ground, and I remembered that you have five worms a day. So I got seven of them. Five for you, and two for me. I also got some berries from a bush nearby, and don't worry, I made sure they weren't poisonous or anything like that. Holy berries? Yeah, I found them and thought you would like them. Besides, I'm willing to bet you're getting sick of eating worms all the time. When I was at my gang before, my sister was pregnant with pups and I had to fetch her food and- So, can I boss you that down? My sister always did, so I didn't mind. Go on now, give me an ear up. No, I'm not your slave. I said I can help. You'll be helping a lot. The last time I was given food was by my mate. Gave me worms and berries. I, I, I mean, w well, it, it's not like I'm saying we're mates or anything. I mean, I, uh... I can't say it's all of us being mates and- Wait, I, um... It's fine, Celine. I understand what you're trying to say. You better, Mel! <laughs> F what's so funny, Mel? It's kind of cute seeing you so flustered over your own words. C cute Yeah. Anyway, let's get some worms. Uh, all right. Also, I have a question. Oh. What is it? You were born a wild hamster, right? Well... Technically, yes and no. Technically? But I see you have that collar. Have you been digging through my stuff? No. Your collar is right there. Oh, right. Well, it's an important part of your life. You got in touch with humans, which is rare, especially out here. S so you don't care if I was by humans? <sighs> nope, I don't mind. Not at all. Keep that collar with you everywhere. That's what I plan to do, till I die. And if I die, my pops will carry my collar. It, it used to be my mate. <sighs> but n not any longer. Uh, I'm sorry. Whatever! Just... <sighs> I'm going to sleep. Alright. What is it with him? I've never seen a hamster tease me so much like this. Not even a male. Also... He doesn't care about me being with the humans. The only hamster that teased me this much and cared like this was my past mate. What does this mean? Misery.